What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to cover all what's known about the new weapon system coming this September with the Forsaken DLC for D2 which looks great by the way. But before we get into that guys, if you would like to support the channel, leaving a like truly does that and it helps me out more than you know. Okay, so during yesterday's Forsaken reveal stream, we got a little bit of information on the new weapon system coming this fall, and man, it's big. So before going into the stream, we knew changes were coming to the weapon system. Most including myself thought it would be like how D1 was, a primary, a secondary and a heavy. Difference from what we have in D2 now is we had sniper, shotgun, fusion rifles available in the energy weapon slot, meaning we could use them way more often than what we can in D2's current state. Bungie promised a change and it is coming guys. The new weapon system works as follows. If you want to rock the old school D1 layout, you can, meaning you can have a shotgun in that energy slot or a sniper for that matter. Or guys, if you want to go all out batshit crazy, you can now equip a shotgun in every slot, primary energy and power. This is the new system coming with D2 with the Forsaken DLC this September. There will be shotgun snipers and probably a few other weapons that are currently only power weapons now available for your kinetic and energy weapon slots. So if you want to, you can rock out three snipers, three shotguns, maybe even three fusion rifles. That is nuts. Now what isn't clear is how exactly this works. Some people are thinking you can equip, for instance, power weapons in your kinetic slots, energy weapons in your kinetic slots, basically giving you the choice of using, for instance, the Legend of Acrius in your kinetic slot and roll that with two other weapons sitting in your energy and power weapon slots. I actually don't think this is the case at all, people, and I'll explain why. Although we know three shotguns can be equipped at the same time, the shotgun within the kinetic slot and energy slot won't be power weapons. They will be weapons made purposely for the slots they go into. It's also for this reason I believe we won't be able to run around with three rocket launchers or grenade launchers because as crazy and fun as that would be, it would just make things plain stupid for certain areas of the game. And to be honest, break the game. At the moment, it isn't clear what weapons will be available for what slots. We just know that shotguns and snipers will be available for your energy and kinetic slots. And I suppose this is great news for those of us who are fans of the Nolan Beyond. It makes sense now. We will see this exotic return. Now, it's clear if you ask me that snipers that drop for your kinetic and energy slots won't be anywhere near as powerful or unique as those power weapons. If this was the case, I mean it just makes the whole power weapon slot pretty damn useless, if you ask me. Same with shotguns. The kinetic versions I can see being real weak in comparison to the power weapon shotguns. This makes sense if you think about the way ammo drops too. Kinetic and energy ammo drop way more often than the power weapon ammo. So for this instance, it makes much more sense. And also for the simple fact that power weapon slot becoming redundant if this isn't the case. Imagine being able to equip your colony into your kinetic slot, meaning your kinetic ammo drops will refill the mag. It just wouldn't make sense. It would break so many aspects of the game. And it's for this reason, like I said, shotguns, snipers and any other weapon type we only see in power weapons at the moment, which will be available to use in kinetic and energy weapon slots. I believe these weapons will drop solely for them slots. So those will be, for instance, shotguns and snipers, which only drop for said weapon slots. You will have kinetic shotguns, you will have kinetic snipers, you will have energy shotguns and you will have energy snipers. I guarantee you, you won't be able to equip power weapon shotguns and power weapon snipers into your kinetic and energy slots. And this is a new system coming with a September DLC, which I think will be great and it will really mix things up for our loadouts for sure, people. And I cannot wait. They also mentioned leveling up weapons and the investment we put into them will be worth it. Take a listen to Josh Hamrick right here. We've got a whole new masterwork style system coming together where you actually are able to kind of move your levels up over time. And so there's investment back on the weapons again. Later on in the stream, they do indeed mention random roles and the effect they will have on the game. Uh, what else are you excited about? What else you want to call out? Oh man, well, there's vault space, which is also another thing that, that you know. Yeah. We add all this content and uh, I don't want to spoil ahead, but that we're adding random some some random roles. And yeah, so, sure. Weapon, so like, we can, yeah, we, weapon we can jump into that. But but those things all tie together, right? Yeah. So because we're doing that, the the vault space is pretty mm -hmm. important. Um, we'll take a look at gear collection and in-game triumph in just a minute. But it's yeah. important to call out that uh, you know while collecting gear and keeping it in a menu that's sort of like your accomplishments, uh, weapon randomization or more affectionately known as random roles. 
Uh, that is something that is coming back. Let's it just is. say it again. Yeah, they're testing it upstairs right now. It's it's coming back. We're we're bringing it in. Yeah, it's gonna be good. What's your goal for that as a game director? Yeah, the goal for uh, random rolls is just to get uh, you know to earn that to make earning gear more exciting to players to yeah. to personalize their chase for weapons and and, yeah. and, and armor and and to like really get. Uh, add that depth that we were talking about before to a system that they can now kind of learn and dig into and yeah. try to figure out. Yeah, I'm that. loving this recurring theme of depth. Yeah. yeah, Every drop has the potential to be exciting, to be something new. And uh, then when you get those weapons, uh, how do we arrange them on our character? We all know the effect that they will have people. They will make the grind 10 times of what it is now when it comes to chasing that perfect weapon roll. It's actually a feature many, many people miss. Many, many people farming the Imago loop. Many, many people farming the Grasp of Manic, chasing that perfect roll. I mean, we've got grind in the game now, but nothing as such. I would, however, like to see the addition of newly added perks. I mean, there are a couple of great perks in the game right now, which can change a weapon, but we do need more. Ones which can take a weapon which normally sucks and make you think twice about the effect said perk will have on it. But yeah guys, September should be fun. Until then, what we have now we'll have to do. But yeah guys, this is exactly how I think this new weapon loadout system will work. You will be able to equip three shotguns and three snipers at the same time, but kinetic shotguns and kinetic snipers, energy shotguns and energy snipers won't be power weapons. You won't be able to equip said kinetic sniper into your power weapon slot, and you won't be able to equip power weapon sniper into your kinetic weapon slot. I mean, it just breaks the balance of the game, especially when you think about the burns weapons offer. A kinetic weapon is kinetic for a reason. But yeah guys, on that note, I am out. Roll on September. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I. Get it right.